Hey everyone, it's Nicole and I'm coming at you today with a collective haul. Um, I went bargain shopping again today and I wanted to see what I could buy with 20 bucks. So I actually got quite a few things and I want to share it with you. Um, I went to Rite Aid, Dollar General, and the Dollar Store and I got quite lucky. First thing I want to show you is what I got from Rite Aid. I'm real excited about these. I actually got these LA Colors eyeshadow palettes which contain 50 different shades of shadows. The first palette is called Abstract and it has some beautiful colors as you can see. Look at those blues right there y'all. Those are gorgeous. Anyway, $5.99 at Rite Aid gotta check it out it's called the artist eye palette and where's the name the name is right here abstract and I also got this one which is called inspiration and it has some beautiful colors in it as well and I did stand there and compare the colors to make sure there were no duplicates and there aren't so go by Rite Aid and check them out I'm actually wearing a couple of colors out of the inspiration palette and you probably can't tell because my lighting sucks and it's been on all day and it's hot and I've been sweating but anyway <laughs> go by check these out y'all 50 colors in each one $5.99 each next thing I picked up from Rite Aid was these Revlon cream shadows and the color is electric pop or the palette is named electric pop and there they are it was on clearance y'all regularly $6.50 I got it for a dollar and 62 cents and they are gorgeous colors gorgeous 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 colors y'all and I'm sure you've probably seen these before on the YT but here let me swatch them There's the blue the cream the lime green and the really really deep sort of grayish blue and there they are y'all very pretty colors and again, they are cream shadows, so they're going really, really smooth and very well. Dollar sixty-two, seventy-five percent off. Okay. Now moving along from the dollar store, I picked up this. Um, what is this? The LA Colors Lip Duo. It's a lip gloss um, duo. Kit. it has a neutral sort of a rosy color and then it has the glitter it's like a clear with glitter um, throughout and I can't wait to try this it's called rose I don't know if you can see that rose and it was really pretty in the store so y'all I can't wait to let's see we'll try it now it is if I can get it open now these containers are when you're trying to get them open okay Let's see here's the rose which is a neutral color it's probably not going to show up no not really and let's see if I can swatch the glitter Eh, it's not going to show up y'all I'd have to do this in a tutorial or something but I'm trying you're probably not going to see it well, maybe a little, but as you can see, it's a really neutral color, and you can see the shimmers and the glitter one. But anyway, I'll have to do a tutorial on that, but love it. Very nice. Okay. Also, for my dollar store, I got this bronze powder called Glowing from LA Colors. Loving this LA, LA Color stuff, but there is the bronze. Um, or bronzing powder called glowing and you know with summer upon us and everything you want your skin to have that dewy glowy look so I've been trying out a few colors so got this from the dollar store it's called glowing check it out okay now from Dollar General I actually picked up another bronzing powder it's from wet n wild called mega glow it's an illuminating powder and this color is called starlight bronze number 348 
wet and wild and I dropped it of course but thanks to my trusty easy press that I picked up from Coastal Scents just for these purposes I was able to get it back together so I think it's dried enough for you to see it but I'm gonna do a tutorial using it so you'll see me wearing it but I actually have some on now which is hard to see but anyway very pretty loving it Ooh, don't want it to there we go next thing from Dollar General is my favorite mascara which is the voluminous natural from L'Oreal and this color is actually the blackest black I got the blackest black and then I got the black brown because some some looks that you have may need or call for black mascara and some may call for a more brown or neutral brown color for your lashes so I get both and I wear both and I love this mascara because it doesn't clump it's not all goopy but it gives you the right amount of volume the right amount of length and I love it love it love it and these were on sale for three bucks they're regularly like six fifty seven bucks or something but I think they're gonna stop carrying in it carrying it um but hey I got lucky enough to grab these two before they stopped <laughs> so I'm so excited about that because I have like tubes and tubes of it over here so anyway a nice haul um, I also got this LA Colors Nails Art Deco. I've got a collection of these because my daughter is becoming quite the artist when it comes to nails. So instead of me paying somebody else to decorate, I'm going to let her do it. And I'm going to go let them do their due as far as keeping them shaped up and all that stuff. But I'm going to let her do the decorating and polishing, y'all. Because, hey, when you can save a buck, save it. And this one is called Blue Glitter. So as you can see, it's a nice little glittery color okay now I oh also I picked this up from Dollar General it's called the uh, LA Colors eye and face makeup remover so I'm gonna try this it's oil free with aloe vera and chamomile um, you know I do do the natural thing when it comes to my skin I don't like to put a lot of chemicals on but this one didn't have a whole lot in it just has water and what is this glycerin and it does have something kind of crazy. Aloe extract, chamomile extract, and something. What is this? Sepigal 305 or whatever. But it doesn't have a whole lot of ingredients, which I was kind of liking. But I'm going to try it. If I don't like it, I'll give it to my daughters or toss it. I mean, it was only $1.50. But I'm going to try it. I don't usually use makeup remover, but some things call for it like the some of the shadow bases they're hard to get off so I'm gonna try it but again here it is the LA Colors face and eye makeup remover $1.50 again from Dollar General and from my beauty supply I picked up a couple of more Nika K uh, high def eyeshadows and this particular one is uh, item number 3019 it doesn't have a name but it's a pretty blue a shimmery blue and what I like about these is they sort of take on an iridescent quality or look to them so I like these so I love that blue I have several and then this rust coat this is beautiful y'all I just fell in love with this and I'm gonna swatch this one for you Ooh, that is so pretty this is item number 3005 isn't that pretty Ooh, love it can't wait to wear it but here it is that is so pretty y'all look at that anyway again 3005 from Nika K so that is going to do it for my collective haul today and I hope you enjoyed it and until my next video guys I'll see you then bye Thank you.